Hey everybody, behind me is a Southwestern tiny home design. Isn't this cool? I want to say thank you to Kristen for letting me do this for her. I've had this design in my mind for over a year to want to do a ESP panel home. That's what this is. And we're able to stucco this. And when she picked out this color, I thought, oh my God, she has lost her mind. And now I really like this color. When we first sprayed it on, I didn't like it at all. So anyway, let me show you a few, a few things and walk through me on this video, okay? If I can get Amanda to just listen to me this time and not do what she wants to do. That's not going to happen. All right, Amanda, this is where I want to start, is right here. Okay, so and you're let me in the come wrong back over spot there. right now. Okay, so let me come over yeah, there. Yeah, get over here. All right. <sighs> this is, all right, the ESP panel homes are really fun to work with. I like work with them. The guys are still not that, you know. They're not crazy about they're it. They're not crazy about it. But listen to me. This, is, this has been really cool to do. In an Adobe style home, I love curves, the stucco, and of course you guys can see the cedar trees, how they protrude out the outside of the house, right? Now there was a couple things in the design of it where those are more of, uh, um, of a, what do you call it? Aesthetic. The aesthetics. Mm -hmm. They don't do any support on the inside. Yeah. I wanted it to be all the way through, but when I talked to the homeowner, she had some designs on the inside to how she wanted it and I thought how can I incorporate the aesthetics of an adobe with logs sticking out with her floor plan she wanted inside right so let me show you what we did and how I went about doing that all right I wanted a corner that was curved I didn't want it straight I think all adobe homes have these curves and soft edges around these because they can stucco it so we went ahead and put a, a, a curve around all the way up on all four corners isn't this cool now so what we did is I stopped the wall here and stopped it here and we took metal and we took it all the way around Spray foam the inside gave it a rigidity and then I put metal again on the inside stuck on both sides and it, That's what it come out it turned out beautiful Isn't that cool? mm -hmm. So we can go around here. I like that. There's nothing on this wall, but that vent Nothing Let me it's back just up an, and show an that. Adobe home are, are the ones that I've seen are just super clean There's not a lot of junk on them. It's just straight you know you come around the back and you can see this real well with the lights on we have tonight so we took we took the pine sanded them it's all beautiful it's ready to paint urethane whatever she would like we also put live edge awnings over that window right there so the live edge has that it's almost just a little bit of bark on the wood and it keeps of course waterproofing too all the water coming down there's got a gutter that's going to be on this side it'll catch all all the water off of that now, you can see all the pine trees that we got. These are cedar trees that we took and put across that. That's the nostalgic look. Putting that on made the whole house. It, it turned the whole outside of this house from a block to a totally different architectural yes. look. Isn't that beautiful? Now, I have a question. Mm. I see the metal up there. Yeah. Will you be putting gutters, or it looks like it's, the rain's just going to come off? Yeah, we're going to put a gutter. Oh, so you do put I gutters? just said that. Oh, I didn't, you know what? I didn't listen it's to okay. you. You know why? Because you're just busy filming me. You know, I'm so busy. You did a great job. <laughs> now, I might, I may do something else here because I don't like to cut out. Some of the guys have been cutting these out. I don't like I've cutting these out. I've seen that. So what I'm thinking about doing, I'm probably going to put an edging all the way around the house mm -hmm. just to go over top of that. I don't want it to look like. Now, are they trailer. cutting it out? So if it's, why are they doing it? Eh, they get in their head. Mm -hmm. We're going to pull the tire off that thing. Get uh, flat. Why are you talking? Oh my god, okay. Alright, so another thing is another pine. I love man, look at this, how they've sanded that and this we're all we need to do is do our silicone caulk around here and we are done with this house. Clean it up in the inside. Now, how we did the post sticking out. So our ESP panels are about two inches thick, right? And there's metal and metal. So what I wanted to do on the inside is I wanted to go ahead and drill through it right and then put the pole inside the hole and then you screw it from the back side and that's what we did now I wanted to put a one by in the back and decorate it I think the guys they didn't use a one by they just drilled through part of the metal on the front pulled out the foam the metal stuck the pine tree inside it and then screwed it from the behind so it's really just for aesthetics it won't go anywhere it's 
wrapped around them with steel and stucco, and then, then we actually put some urethane on the outside of them. But isn't that cool? I've never seen an adobe style tiny home. I haven't either. Yeah. Never. And look how beautiful the windows. There's a lot of different shapes. Well, I asked her Love if we that. could use some from some picture windows. I'm a big advocate of picture windows. I like them in the kitchen. I like them in the bed, uh, living room. I also know we all want raisable windows so we can get the cross ventilation and air and stuff. The only thing it's just so hard to get a pretty window costs a lot of money to get red and green and wood and all that stuff. So, you know, we use our white vinyl windows and it's for cost effective purposes sure. to do that. But I think we've done a pretty good job of trying to incorporate that in the artistic architecture we're trying to get to look like, you know? Beautiful. Yeah, so you get a picture window, here's more in the front. But man, the tree sticking out totally makes it that Adobe style home. Gorgeous. You still got the round corners, all four corners are nice and round. Yep, and I want to say hats off to Travis and Nicole that came here. There are there are new uh, folks that just started working with us. They're from Vermont. He came in here. Both of them came in here, and they said we are experienced builders. And I've heard that a million times, but boy, they are. They came in here, and we all like them. He's fitting in real good. Both of them are Nicole. Is That's great. Really nice. Yeah, we really like them. So, all right, let's go inside, Amanda. Okay. All right, now I'm on the inside. We just came through the door, of course. Gosh. Put a full-size glass, full-glass window. Now, Amanda's in the kitchen, all right? So I'm going to show you the living room while I'm in here. Now, we lowered this headroom. Miss Doll's a little bit shorter. She said, lower that thing down for me so I got some headroom. Now, this thing's got I think two that's a big lots. Great idea. Great now, this idea. is 8 by 24. Forgot to say that about the size. It's an 8 by 24, two huge lofts, all right? No staircase. Ladder access, access, all right? This loft, I've got my measuring tape tonight, Amanda. Let me, well, yeah, let me pull this thing out let me get and let's see start. what we got. Yeah, so we're looking at the loft is almost eight feet, all right? So you could put a, a king size mattress up there. So the loft and the headroom, while I'm talking about the loft, I point to the logs up here. These are the cedar logs that have been stripped, and of course they're cut in half. They're for aesthetics. You still got about 43 inches up there. And I think, let's see here, you got one side. Yeah, this is the high side over here. So you got about 44, 45 inches on this side mm -hmm. down to this one over here. So it sheds, it only sheds a couple inches. It don't shed much. So it's does almost it? flat. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Yep, sheds three inches. Okay, that's okay. beautiful. Yeah, so that's okay. a great big loft area. Living room area right here. Of course, you can use it as a bedroom if you like. Now, because the loft is so small, we got this picture window. We, we couldn't, we had to leave a header in here to support all of our weight. So that's why the, the window's a little bit low to the ground. It's tempered glass. So this is, a, this is a big living room. The living room is eight. Let's see, we had... Eight foot, and now we've got another almost six, so it's almost 14 feet just to that wall there. Wow, okay. Now that's the washer and dryer closet area. But if you want to get all the way to the kitchen, you got 14, 15, 17, almost 17 feet from here to the kitchen cabinets. Wow, so if somebody wanted to sleep on the main floor and not go up in the lofts, you can totally have a single bed queen bed and still have all this room in here for living room desk and this is an eight by 24 esp home it feels really big in here. it does feel big mm -hmm. now we we don't like i told you before the logs sticking out on the outside to make it look adobe style they don't come on the inside normally they do an authentic adobe style home that, those are just faux they're faux they're faux yes <laughs> we got a place for a tv put the plug up high um, panel box down below it. I know the panel boxes are big and bulky, but we got to have them. Washer and dryer hookup. Mm -hmm. It's a nice house, man. Very when you nice. start thinking about it in here. Now, there's a lot of trim. You see, we got different angled trim and coming down here. And every guy that builds these things always have a different style of trimming. Cooktop, we couldn't put a range hood because you got this big glass right here. We don't have any. All we got is one shelf up here. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I love this clean countertop. I don't 
I'm not really an advocate for range hoods. They're really great to have in your house because they suck out all the all the the um, smells and stuff from cooking and stuff. But I love this clean, nice, all this light that comes in on a kitchen with this fixed window. Of course, you got cabinets, you got your water heater underneath here. Your refrigerator will go with this end. Got the plug down here for your um, for your refrigerator. Here's your sink. I love how we undermount all of our single bowl sinks with our gooseneck faucets. Then over here you've got, of course, a bathroom. It's a typical bathroom. This is almost like an RJO. All right, so RJOs are always kitchen, bathroom, bathroom, kitchen, with a door right here. She opted out with the door on the side, which I think was nice because the kitchen, the refrigerator can be right here. You can see where it's curved. The floor. Yeah. And up on at the ceiling. Isn't that cool? I like the I even like the floor. I'm I'm a I'm crazy different about floors. But this floor is more of a sandy kind of look. It, I don't know, it reminds me more of a deserty look. Of course a tile floor, you know they're starting to get this flooring in a tile, Amanda. So they're like, um, I think Will was telling me it was like eight to ten inches by maybe two foot or twenty inches, and they and they're not wood wood design. It's a tile design. Oh really? This would have looked mm. great with that tile design. In okay. Here. You know, because it's more of Adobe. Now I noticed in here, and this is what is this beadboard? To have yes. something different that looks mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, they put it on the walls. They put it sideways instead of vertical, and I, that's why I let guys just kind of when the homeowner is like Kristen. They just let us have some freedom, and then this is what you get. Now, you get just to cool remind stuff. everybody, Kristen is the one that uh, Bryce built her home, built the Viking. The Viking. The house. Viking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You go in so, our gallery, you can see that. Yes, exactly. Yep. Now, Brandy, this right yeah. here, I noticed, I can already tell these are different builders, because uh, you said it's the the uh, the team, the Vermont team, right? Well, they got in here at the tail end of it. Okay. Yeah. Because I don't know who built it, but this is different. These are all smooth. Things yeah, Brian did all that. Brian, okay. And yeah. Brian's new to Brian me. Brian is new. He's yeah. been here about four, three, four months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Brian's a little different. Listen, I can tell. Just little things like this that he puts up here and mm -hmm. little things, you know. Okay. Yep. We got some really talented builders that are coming up. They're actually learning here, you know, and learning how they fit and what they do and, um, I'm, ex I'm excited to see their skill come out as every build comes out. They're all built technically right, but then when you start seeing their personality come into their build, it's really fun, you know? Oh, yeah, you can tell. I can tell the difference now. I used to not could, but yeah. I can tell the difference now. Now, this one has got another loft, and I believe, let's see how long this loft is. This is another loft of seven foot long. Okay. All right, 84 inches. Let me show that up top. Yep, and then there's another, of course, the ceiling on top of the washer and dryer. You know? So you got a mini split. You got the faux log ceiling. The faux uh, Adobe style logs on the Ooh. outside. Wow. And another log. So that's better yeah. than, you know, on the inside of these, you got more room on the inside. So it's actually 90, let's see how wide these things are. Like, wow, look at that. Yeah. So this you're 90, different. almost, almost 94 inches wide, 93 wow. and a half. Yep, 93 and a half by 84. Another king size mattress there. So you could have two king size mattresses. Now let me point something out for you all. How I like to build tiny homes and what I like to do here with you guys. There's a million things you could add to this house, all right? You could add a privacy wall here. You could put a curtain across there. If you have, if this is a rental and you want to have two couples stay here or a family stay here, there could be a curtain go across and a curtain cross there if you wanted to, right? You could add a TV up in each one. There's cabinets that could be placed in there. There could be a total entertainment center put here. All this is for the homeowner to do. It's for you all to do, to enjoy decorating your house, adding furniture, adding, you can even, even add like stuff, carpentry stuff like shelves, right? in things that would enhance the build. Like in the bathroom, there's a bunch of stuff in there, shelving and stuff you could do. Like I did at my Incredibox. Added a closet, added a uh, right. kind of a, a little closet on the corner of the bathroom you could open up there. So I like to build tiny homes that keeps you guys still involved in it. Now we'll do turnkey, perfect home. You walk in, all you, do, all you need is your toothbrush, right? But the part I like, because I like to go back 
and see what everybody's done to their home and how they've added to it. Hey, do we need to start selling houses and giving a free toothbrush with every house? Free toothbrush. <laughs> free toothbrush. It's ready to go. Remember the toothbrushes that had the pick on the end of it? Yes. That rubber pick. Yeah. Wasn't it? Was they it don't do that anymore, do they? B or something? Yeah. They used to have those. My mom had You one. used to work at a toothbrush factory. I worked at um, Anchor Brush. Anchor that, Brush. Anchor Brush. And it was Colgate that was on top. And it was Crest on the bottom. And Crest was a big secret thing and you had to punch in a code, sign a paper and everything and no, we weren't allowed to talk about it. It was a big secret thing in a toothbrush factory. So Colgate and Crest were on top of each other. Colgate was up top and Crest was and they're in the competitors. Bottom. And I lived in the, and they were competitors, but in the same building. That's crazy. It was amazing, so. Anyway. Well, I hope you like this Adobe style, tiny home, eight by 24. And you're all asking me, how much, how much, how much? Let me tell you something. Christian got a deal on this house. She did. Get this. We were, you guys, we've all lost her. We've lost out. These things sold. I sold these a year ago. Mm -hmm. And it was that special. Over a year ago. For 25 grand. Mm -hmm. And that's something. We did not know anything about ESPs. We didn't know how they would work. And I wanted people to um, help me pay for them. They're, this is a model home that help us know how to work on the ESPs, how to get there, and with that, they got a great deal. We got the experience in building these, and now we're building Incredibox that we got it hands down, and we know how to build these things. We know how to wire them, we know how to plumb them, we know how to work on them, and to make them strong and pretty and stucco and all that. So thank you to all the people that bought a $25,000 ESP panel home, and you guys helped us perfect this type of architecture and materials that we use. So remember, subscribe to this channel, two thumbs up, not just one, and go to our website. We're building it again for you guys, but go there and also notifications if we get 100,000 people and when we do, you get a free house. We're gonna make a drawing. And remember our credit box, you still want a $20,000 house? Yeah. Excuse me, we sell a home for $20,000. And that sale. special's been extended too until yeah. February 21st. Yep, so go yeah. there if you mm -hmm. want a $20,000 Incredi um, Incredi Box home. We got a yes. video on our website you can look at. And also, we build all kinds of other tiny homes. Looking forward to meeting you guys coming on. Make sure you tune into this channel every day, and I'm not going. I'm going to quit talking. And I'm blah, pretty blah. sure. I already stopped it. And I'm pretty sure you can't do two thumbs up. So, two thumbs but up. if you can, let us know in the comments. Do two thumbs up. <laughs> hey, do a double wink emoji. <laughs> there you go. All right. If you tongue out. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll okay. see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye.